Alfred Nobel, the inventor of dynamite, worried that his invention could be used to the detriment of mankind. So he left his fortune, which in fact was immense, to be doled out in the form of the Nobel Prizes. And these represent the pinnacle of scientific achievements. And uh, they're awarded in fields of chemistry, fields of physics, physiology, and medicine. But there's another interesting award, and that is the Ig Nobel Prize. This is something that is awarded by uh, a committee from the Annals of Improbable Research, a humorous magazine. This is a parody of the Nobel Prize. And these are awarded for strange research. The idea is to look at research that first makes people laugh and then makes them think. Well, there's only one person in history who has ever won an individual Nobel Prize, an individual Ig Nobel Prize. And that is Andrei Konstantin Geim. And he's a Russian-born physicist, now at the University of, of Manchester. His Nobel was for the discovery of graphene, which is an interesting form of carbon that can be used in a variety of ways. Tennis rackets can be made of it. Uh, it has all kinds of potential uh, uses. However, what is interesting is his Ig Nobel Award, which was awarded, believe it or not, for levitating a live frog. How does one levitate a live frog? Well, very carefully, of course, and you do it with magnets and with a phenomenon known as diamagnetism. I want to illustrate that to you because, indeed, it is an absolutely amazing phenomenon. I have sort of a little boat here, a piece of polystyrene in which I have a vial, and the only thing in that vial is water, ordinary water, and I have a strong neodymium magnet here. Now, what is important to understand is that what I'm going to do now is to maneuver that water without touching that vial. Now, this seems to be impossible because water, of course, is not magnetic. Well, watch this as I bring the magnet close to the vial. Notice I am not touching it, and yet I am propelling the vial. I think that's pretty amazing. This very strong magnet induces a very tiny magnetic field in the water because of the way it makes electrons circulate. And that magnetic field opposes this field. This is the reason that we can push this without touching it. Now, I think this is an absolutely amazing phenomenon because we have water which doesn't have any magnetic property, and yet it can be maneuvered with an external magnet. The property that we're talking about here is diamagnetism. It's not the same as ferromagnetism, which is a, a property that metals have that makes them be able to be picked up by, uh, by a magnet. So that's pretty interesting. And it's for this research uh, that uh, Geim got the Ig Nobel Prize because he levitated a frog. A frog is mostly water. And it was amazing how this frog was able to float in the air when exposed to a strong magnet. The frog is totally unharmed by this. It was very happy. It continued leading a very, very happy life. Geim is a fascinating character because he's interested not only in frogs, he's interested also in geckos. How is it that the gecko can hang on to a ceiling and walk upside down? Well, he figured out that it is because of the billions of tiny hairs that are on the gecko's feet. And those exert a force, we call it a van der Waals force. When two substances come very close together, they form an attraction. And based upon this, he formulated, believe it or not, a gecko tape, which is based on exactly the same, same idea. Not hairs, but tiny, tiny little plastic filaments. And they are amazing in terms of picking up things. Painters, of course, make good use of this. And uh, I can't make uh, a frog levitate, of course, but uh, using my gecko tape here, I can perhaps make this guy fly. So that's the story of Andre Geim, the uh, gecko and the diamagnetism, and of course, the Nobel Prize. This is my Nobel Prize. Well, no, I didn't win it, but it is mine because I own it. But indeed, it would be very, very sweet to really win a Nobel Prize.